some devils. If you don't back to answer more goddamn questions, today's questions we're going over are on the video, Tom Warrior response video. Where's the heavy bands on that list, brah? Oh, yeah, when I made the video on Tom Warrior, that guy, you know, the guy that doesn't listen to heavy music but says he fucking does, uh, this is response video. Like some people were in a fucking uproar. It's funny because actually uh, Don of the Dead was here uh, not too long ago, a couple days ago, doing some, helping us out with some shit. And I don't know why it got brought up. And I told him how I kind of did a video on that called Tom Warrior. I was, like, I was like, let me ask you a question, dude. I was like, do you think that guy listens to the metal? He's like, <laughs> even he's like, no, fuck no, dude. He's like, there's no way that guy listens to the metal. He's like, dude, he's he's like, he was a poser fucking 30 years ago. He's like, look at, just look at his catalog. He's like, he was the biggest trend jumper in the fucking late 80s, early 90s, 90s, as far as uh, music goes. He's like, no, dude, you don't listen to fucking metal. Fuck no, you don't. And especially not extreme music bands. No. Hell's bells. No, you don't. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because I, like, I was like, I think most people in the comments got it, but um, but, I mean, there was there was definitely yeah, most people got the people with their heads way up their fucking ass. Like, what do you mean, yeah, he does or uh, what are you ripping on a legend just just because he's done legendary music? Yeah, he did the great shit. That doesn't mean he himself listens to the music. That's all I was saying. I was like, yeah, as far as him personally, do I think he listens to metal music or heavy music? Fuck no, fuck no, not at all. Anyways, we're on that goddamn video, so scroll all the way to the fuck the bottom for the first question mark. Uh, Harry Quinn, J Dog, do you make any effort in avoiding xenoestrogens, the, the shit that you find in our soaps and shower gels, Tupperware boxes, etc., that are estrogenic and fuck with our hormonal system? Uh, no, I do not. I do not give a fuck about that. Uh, because it's like, to what level is it? And here's the funny thing is, it's like, I get my blood work done. And I test for estrogen, estradiol, E1, E2, total estrogen. It's like, if you're worried about this shit, just check your fucking estrogen levels. Like, it, it, like it, it's, it's funny, a lot of people, they throw this shit out. It's always the fucking hippies. Always the hippies. It's like, you're saying stuff or you're using certain supplements like vitamin D and shit. It's like, what are your levels at? Blood levels at? Well, I don't know. Well, then how do you know you're taking enough or you, that you even fucking need it? You know what I mean? You could just be pissing off. Like, verify it. It's verifiable. Or like certain thing, like, oh, hey, well, like, like soy protein uh, reduces testosterone, which is horseshit. So you just say, so you no, know, I don't consume soy protein because I think, I just think it's a crap source of protein, to be honest with you, an com- uh, incomplete source of protein. Um, so I don't, I'd rather use animal sources of protein. Um, but as far as it raising estrogen, estrogen and shit, even if like, there's tons of studies that show that it doesn't, and that's just a complete fucking myth. That's like, well, that term soy boys come from and shit like that. But it's like, if you're worried about it, let's just say you are. Go get your testosterone levels checked, man. It's, it's, it, why wouldn't you want to know that anyways? Like, it blows my mind on a lot of stuff. It's like, just go get your labs done and get that ordered. Like, if you're, if you're, if you think that it does that, you're concerned, or you listen to something, because what, what it is, it's, you, you heard somebody on social media say it, or YouTube, or something like that, you're like, oh, shit, and it's somebody you follow, verify it. Don't just take that canoe's fucking word, you know, get, do, do your due diligence and verify it if you're that, that concerned about it. And I have verified it, and it's done fuck all for me. So, uh. No, I'm not the least bit concerned. Not even slightly. I think it's more hippie bullshit. Uh, v Dog in here has got a fucking uh, goddamn essay. So I'm, gonna, I'm not even reading this shit off. It's a little, it's a little, there's a couple question marks in there, but probably just something negative as usual, so I don't even need, need to fucking waste my time on that. Uh, life eternal question mark question mark gotta love the comment section full of hate <laughs> oh is there, is there so far a bunch of hate i mean i'm assuming b dogs is hate because it usually is but i don't even bother reading it because it's too goddamn long i'm not gonna time for that shit uh what are your uh <laughs> maybe a bunch of hate above though yeah, that's all good let's see what are your top five favorite demos of all time fuck definitely putrefaction painful death let's say necrovore the divius fucking demo 87 demo Love the King Diamond Spider's Lullaby demo. Probably the first death demo, Death by Metal. And the first Massacre demo. Let's go with that. We'll see if those, those five are the ones that come to my head. There's probably maybe something else in there I like more, uh, possibly. You know what? One that would be in there. I never considered it a demo, but I guess it is. I always just considered it a first album, the way it came on CD and shit like that. But 
I keep forgetting it technically is a demo, and it might be my fucking favorite favorite of all time. It might even have future faction people, to be honest with you, uh, which we did the vinyl release was of Centurion of Purest Fire. But I always just consider that like an EP or a mini album, but it, it technically is a demo. So if you want to call that a demo, that might be my favorite of all time. Centurion of Purest Fire, to be honest with you. Go date concert. It seems a lot of people fail to understand what the video was actually about. Question mark. Probably, yeah. I mean, I'll, like we called the guy out. It's just like it's funny because like it's like, dude, you do. Like, I said this a million times. I like the first two self cross to death all full lengths. Um, they're not my favorite band by no means. I like Hellhammer. It's not like I'm like against the guy. I'm just calling him out for like this is interviews, just saying asinine statements. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm passionate about heavy music, and then he doesn't even listen to any heavy bands. We didn't mention any heavy bands. And I never assume, I always assume this guy's just, he's not metal. I mean, just like, again, biggest fucking King Diamond fan in the world. Me, me, my Universal Fates. I mean, not everyone that knows me, that knows me, knows me. Not, 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 not oh, I know who Justin Horrible is. There's a lot of people like in my family that said, oh, I know. Hey, you don't know fuck all about me. Uh, because they'll say certain times, I'll, I'll say something, bring something up. They're surprised. Oh, I, I can't believe that. Like, you didn't know that about me, man. Dude, you don't know me. You know my first name. Yeah, we're technically kind of related. Doesn't mean you know me. Anyone that knows me, knows me knows that I'm a huge Merciful Fate King Diamond fan. Everyone knows that. And uh but I've said for years, King Diamond, he doesn't listen to metal. Fuck no he doesn't. This is a goddamn classic rock, probably jazz and shit like that. So it's not like not taking away for anything he did. I'm still a huge fan of him. Um his music, his lyrical content, his image, it's everything he's done for the scene, but I just want to say that I was like he doesn't fucking listen to metal. Um take that for you will if you want to be a fan. I don't know why people were kind of like offended by it or Getting, maybe not offended, but get, getting defensive. Like the only reason you like get defensive is because they're a little upset. I get, I get you like the guy's music. That's fine, but like, you think that's an outlandish statement? Me saying that? I was like, that's kind of common fucking sense. And I was like, if you didn't know that, once it was kind of explained, you'd be like, huh? Or you could have just gone and fucking YouTube the interview that I listened to that he talks about the music, and you'd be like, oh yeah, J Dog is right. He didn't mention anything heavy. He mentioned some fucking classic rock bands. I was like, yeah, so. What heavy bands do you listen to, bro? That's all I'm saying. So I don't know why people are getting like defensive about it. Like made no, no fucking sense to me whatsoever. And again, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what the guy's into. It's just, just a topic to talk about. That's all. Thank you for your Metal channels. So we're talking about a metal topic. That's all. Uh, Jacob Brockman. Hey, J-Dog. Have you ever listened to Malignant Alter? I uh, have not. I've never heard of them. Good shit, bad shit, bro, bro. Like I asked me if I seen the Glenn Benton interview. Sure did, bra bra. We've talked about that in previous episodes. Uh, so I guess this is when I first saw this, and I did the shout out to him. When, when I saw uh, was that this uh, Andrew Killen? Did you see the Joe Metal, Joe's Metal Man Cave video where he does the intro as of you? Yeah, I gave him a shout out. What about a week ago now? When this video, by the time this video comes out, and uh, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was fucking hysterical. I was actually laughing my ass off, especially at the end. Uh, what do you say? The 60 grams of protein or something? Oh, cat, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it was pretty goddamn funny. Ooh, got another fucking, whoo! Carl House, Satan, got to skip this too. And the uh, question, a long ass statement. It's long already, bro, bro. <laughs> Get the fucking, if I run out of shit, I'll come back to it. Uh, Andy Zuleta, who cares what Tom G likes or not, man? I don't know if that's to me or the fucking fans, but yeah, I, I do agree. I don't give a fuck what he likes. 100% agree. That's all I'm seeing here now and honestly didn't, who he was, I'm about to turn 24. He, he didn't even know who he was. I mean, that's that's a little weird. Uh, what are albums that he played on a lot in the Rotation Devils or Top 5? BM and Death, Death Metal altogether. Old or new doesn't matter. I'm interested in real Devils opinions that haven't left the underground. You asking about what albums did Tom G play on? I mean, all, all the Hellhammer shit, uh, Emperor's Return. I mean, the Hellhammer stuff, and then Celtic Frost, Emperor's Return, Morbid Tales, and Two Megatherium. That's all you need. Uh, to me, all the rest is complete, complete unlistenable garbage, in my in my personal opinion. But I know there's other like real devils, yeah, that do like it. Which I, I, for years I I assumed like into Pandemonium up. I assumed nobody liked it, but then I met a lot of people in the scene that do. I'm like, huh. That's kind of weird. Like, it was just literally an assumption. I was like, there's no way anybody in the battle scene actually likes this shit. I was just fucking uh, people outside of the underground that don't know what's up. But I was wrong on that. Uh, a bunch of comments in, but uh, I don't know if, again, I, I can't tell if he was asking what Tom G's in, uh, Andy Zulata. But there you go. That's what I, was what I, what I just mentioned. 
Oh, and then that Trypticon shit. I heard the first release he did, a couple songs. Woo! Wasn't a fan of that at all. <laughs> Goat man. Lots of dudes in here wish they were Tom G's boyfriend, apparently. That, that, that they sure are talking like that. It sound a bunch like sound like a bunch of fucking pink panty wearing queers in there, the way they're talking about them. Joe Dinkins, question, when was the last time you gave Majesty and Decay by Immolation a good listen? Um, you know what? I don't know if I've ever officially given it a good, good listen. Because what I consider a good listen is sitting down, paying attention to nothing. you got the fucking lyric sheet in your hand and following the album. And I've never done that for that album. But, I mean, I've actually, I actually kind of listened to that album semi-recently in the shop. Again, I'm, like, packing records and stuff like that. I think, like, two weeks ago. Um... Again, I, I couldn't name you any songs off of it. I own it. I like it. Um, it's one of the later Immolation albums that uh, I own and I like, but I don't. I couldn't air guitar and stuff. It's kind of a new listen every time I put it on. Probably don't hurt listen to maybe t totality since it's been released maybe five times. But every time I put it on, I enjoy it. It's no here and after or anything, but it's it's, it's, a, good, it's a good record. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> oh, gee, goddamn. I got him talking. Woo. Ricky Jones. I actually didn't hear of Hellcast until I heard about it on here. Oh, really? Cool. Okay, they found me. You found me before you found that. That's cool. I, especially you, Ricky, because you comment on everything. I think you've been commenting since I thought the first video, or at least the first week of videos. And uh, so all the people that were kind of like in the first week, first 10 days, two weeks, I assumed it was all like people that were Hellcast at like the um, episodes I was on, kind of just, go, oh, fuck yeah, J-Dog did his channel, um, and I thought you were one of them, so, um, cool, I didn't know that, I assumed that you, uh, that that's how you found out about me, <clears throat> out of curiosity, then, how did you find out about my channel if you didn't know about Hellcast, like, were you searching something by Hell's Headbangers, or what came up, just kind of curious, Mike Violet, keyboard, Keyboard Warriors. Dude, that's exactly what they are, too. It's so fucking funny. Like, Grant, I knew this way before, uh, way, way, way before um, ever doing a YouTube channel like that. Because, you know, I watch YouTube, and it's it's it's, it's huge in the bodybuilding world. So that's usually the shit I watch on uh, YouTube, a lot of bodybuilding related shit. And uh, people just hating on stuff and hating on guys and things like that. And, uh, you know, even with us, you know, people talking shit about Hell's Headbangers over the years. Whether it been on threads, maybe like a nuclear now thread or whatever. Total tough typewriter, tough guys, keyboard warriors, like you said. And not once, do not ever, not one fucking time have I had one of these clowns come up to me and say shit to my face. Not once. Neither is Eric, neither is Chase. And dude, I'm at every fuck. If you're in Cleveland and it's a metal show, I'm at every fucking show. Anyone says Dread Dollar like, you're full of shit. If a band that I didn't like, then. I mean, Christian's, Christian's uh, next, or well, the all, well, show's coming up. Christian Exhumed, Cannibal Corpse, I'll be at all those. I was just at Both Days of Mortician. I was at Macabre. I was at Deceased. Oh, Deceased and Bulldozer are coming here in November. All the shows, you name it. It's a metal fucking show, I I'm at. Unless it's like a Tuesday night, a band I don't really care about, or a band I've seen a fucking trillion times, and or I didn't even know about the fucking show. Uh, there's definitely times like that. It's like, oh, I, I find out the day of, and I'm like... What the fuck? Like, when will who who didn't advertise this? So I'm at every goddamn show. You can't get. Up, I'm gonna be out Detroit, Detroit, Michigan for a Merciful Fate Midnight tour. I'm going to that. Like, <laughs> I'm all over. I'm, I've been to Maryland several times. Been on a stage, a bunch of different out of state shows. It's like nobody says a fucking peep though, but they've sure didn't know how to talk shit on the fucking. Uh, I, the thing is, I've never done that. Like, gone on someone's big. And to be honest with you, I've actually never commented on a YouTube channel in my entire life, not once ever. Zero zilch. And if I was, I wouldn't be sitting there fucking talking like a tough guy, calling the guy out, talking shit about the guy. Say it to his fucking face. You, or at least it'd be something I would say to their face. And I know some of these tough guys, well, I'd say it to your face. No, you weren't, man. Because you never know you know these fuckheads ever have. Not once. So fuck off. No, you weren't. But anyways, what do you say? Keyboard war is a, a symbol against J-Dog. How dare he make an ob observation about an interview? Damn haters should be grateful that things like HHP even exist. Thanks for the kind words, uh, Mike. But uh, yeah, exactly. It's just an observation. It's just a, it's just an opinion. You didn't have to agree with it. You didn't like the content. Change, you didn't like the lingo. Change the fucking channel. Who gives a shit what the fuck I think? You know what I mean? If you think different. You think Tom G. He listens to the heaviest bands on the fucking planet. 
and he's the coolest guy ever, the most metal guy ever, and he's, he's definitely jamming fucking metal in his car. You want to believe that? Go right the fuck ahead. <laughs> L. Necron. I guarantee there's no way Tom G. is sitting down and putting on the new <laughs> War Moon Lord or Dismo Records laugh all up. Exactly. There's no fuck. Dude, I would bet every fucking thing I own that he doesn't. The business, my house, everything, everything on the line, the whole entire farm, I put on it. There's no fucking way he's doing that. And not even just those two specific bands. But like, oh, well, Drew, maybe just like those two bands. Fair enough. And even anything of the likes, he's not doing it. Anything of, of that caliber. No way. No fucking way. So, yeah. All that crowd, he knew what the fuck was up. And they always say, anyway, Celtic Frost rules, but yeah, he ain't listening to any new stuff. No, I agree. But the, that's where I was even more surprised. I knew stuff. I knew that. That was that's that goes without saying. I knew that for, before even be. He didn't even need to speak for me to know that. But I at least assumed that maybe maybe possessed, maybe death, maybe bathory, maybe slaughter. Didn't bring any of those up. Did Black Sabbath really need a shout out? I didn't think so. Ricky Jones, question J Dog, how did Reaper join Nunslaughter? Also, did it work out that he played both guitar and bass on Hex? Yeah, he did play both bass and guitar on Hex, even though it says Zach played uh I think guitar on there. I forget the reason why. I think the story was Zach joined at the same time. He was supposed to play on Hex, but he didn't. Something along those lines. I can't remember exactly. Uh Craig if I remember. Um and as far as how he joined Nunslaughter, I just know they needed a bass player, and Don and Jim knew us. We just started like kind of like working with Undone Slaughter. Like, oh, you got another brother. Cool. And like he plays. Oh, sweet. And then I think maybe Craig gave him um maybe the uh converted by decapitation was out at the time. I can't remember. He handed the disc and they liked it. And they needed a player. And they asked him, and he just said, Yeah. Um, it was because they were needed, especially pretty quickly, if I'm not mistaken, because their tour for Japan was like a few months out. And uh whoever left, maybe it was Grim. Who was playing bass right before? Maybe it was uh, the Dwayne, Dwayne and Grim years. Sounds about right, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's somebody else after that. This is going back <laughs> what years ago, so something like that. Um, that's the story how I remember. But obviously, Craig would remember much better because I wasn't like, in the room when it happened. I remember Jim and Don talking about asking us about, "Oh, you're the really plays and shit. You think he'd be interested?" And I'm like, oh, "Maybe I don't know." Just kind of like, "Yeah, I guess just ask him." And then they came over to our house, our parents' house at the time, and we all lived together. And then they talked to him. So, yeah, I remember they, when they did come over, they kind of talked to him. Um, but I didn't, like, sit, sit in the room. I kind of just, you know. Actually, I think they came out. It might have been the time they came out with Sam Biles from Hideous Mangrius. Um, John, Jim Don came out, and for whatever reason, just, they were hanging out with Sam. And I'm a huge Hideous Mangrius fan. I think I, maybe I was in another room talking to Sam while Jim and Don were talking to Craig. Maybe I think that's what it was. Uh, that might have been another time. But that was a time that they did come to my parents' house. A uh, carpenter corpse killer video dog super hilarious response to the canoes comments. <laughs> yeah, it's another reason why I'd like to do a uh, comment. I kind of like it when people uh kind of get in a sense defensive or you know a debate. Let's say that you know I, I don't get because like, I don't get mad over any of this shit. Uh, debates are good. So when I can make a response video, I think they'll come off as um uh, kind of almost because in a sense it's almost drama or it's debatable or um. I guess defensive looking and people like it and it can come off as funny. So I almost kind of like it when people put the com I wish there was kind of more shit, but I mean, what can else can be, I can't think of just all total random topics, but something comes up. That's why I did on the time response. I saw everybody's pants getting a bunch. I'm like, shit, I'll just do a quick response. I'll just read these off and uh, do a response to them because I was like, hell, if nothing else, it'd probably be kind of funny. And I just definitely was legitimately confused why people were like, again, I guess mad. I was like, what, what for me? It's telling a factual statement. And if you just, if you don't want to accept it as fact or whatever, then that's cool. I mean, you're still entitled to your opinion. I mean, kind of weird that you're mad. Um, but whatever. I mean, do you, do you care what, would you care what toppings I like in my pizza too? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. So we can knock out one more quickie. Although we're getting to the top, it looks like. Because a lot of people, yeah, they weren't asking questions. Just definitely chiming in on the fucking old time. Yeah, that was the last goddamn one. Yeah, made it all the way to the fucking top. Cleared another goddamn video all in one shot. There was quite a few replies on this, too. Uh, 169 comments, but again, people just kind of chiming in. Not as many question marks. But anyways, just under 20 minutes. Perfect. Right. Another half inch. 
Yeah, damn it. Wow. Fuck, are they talking? Anyways, that's it for this one, Devils. Countless questions, concerns, you know what to do. Put the question marks, and I'll get them answered bright and early. Later, goddammit. <laughs>